Hello, my lovely people. Welcome to lesson number two. And today's lesson, we're going to speak about the swords energy. So I collected all the swords cards from the deck here, the original deck. I'm going to learn today about all the swords energy. So do not panic. I'm going to make it so simple from the basics, like nothing complicated and um hopefully by the end of those lessons you're going to be confident to read tarot by yourself you can see lesson number one for the intro i have the intro in lesson number one about tarot and how what's the difference of like just being a psychic using without tarot without everything and why they created tarot and um how like you can see the intro and how to read from tarot and tarot is like a guide for you to listen to your intuition even if you're not so intuitive okay so today's lesson going to be basic very simple hopefully even if you cannot trust your intuition you can trust yourself to read tarot okay you got the original cards and nothing like um, you know the new cards or oracles or stuff like that we got the original you're supposed to memorize the original so at least you're gonna know you're gonna know the basics and then some cards are like following the original as well some decks i mean so the first thing here we got a king and a queen in every energy so in the wands and the pentacles and it, in the cups we got king and queen and beige and we got a knight as well so the the energy in the knight and then the knight and the beige and the king and the queen they are in the in four elements so they also have them in the wands and the pentacle and the cups so i'm gonna explain how why like why we have kings and queen in the in the beginning and then i'm gonna get in the meaning of the cards so we got king and queen basically the masculine and the feminine of the energy the king is the highest maturest energy of the swords where like they are a fixed person they are an adult basically they are a fixed person a king a queen and they already established something in the sword energy and they're married to each other so and then we got different here different things about them so we got different things about this person and different things about about this person so they are like masculine and feminine energy basically and then we got the beige the beige is like a teenager energy someone is like youthful maybe like a practice in what the king and the queen taught them about the swords and sometimes it's like yeah just like a beige it's like just learning doing what they want and doing what they what they think is correct and sometimes they think it's cool and sometimes it's so so it's a beige it's just like let's say it's not a mature energy then knight the knight is someone who's like very reckless also it could be like let's say like this here's like 17 16 a teenager and here's like someone who's like 25 or something it's kind of like a young adult but a knight is like a fast energy but most of the time people will say that a knight is reckless with their decision it's like it comes fast taking actions but yet doesn't have the maturity sometimes it's like that sometimes the action of the knight is like be nice to come and they they're just very they're full of adrenaline and they want to do things and sometimes it's really nice to do things like that we're gonna get the negative and the positive but sometimes this knight should understand some things like because it could be an ignorant person because i'm like, like i'm a king or i'm a queen but they're no still not a king and a queen so yeah they could be arrogant a little bit because they still don't have the wisdom anyway we're gonna get in the meaning of those four cards let me drink my coffee i put them like this i'm not gonna distract you anyway number one here we got the queen of swords a lot of people say the queen of swords is someone sharp blunt very direct uh, doesn't bluff uh, it could be sometimes comes off mean or uh, cruel it depends on how you want to see it swords energy is always something spoken about thoughts and communication so swords energy is always communication thoughts air energy anything nor the air signs okay so it take it talks about the air energy in the universe the air energy which is like the air signs like a logical someone who's who can communicate someone who can think a lot someone who uses this energy or like driven by this energy mostly not their emotion not 
their like whatever they think is stable it's more like whatever what's important what makes them stable is their logic right so the queen of swords is very logical but yet can be very blunt and uh, the queen of swords is known as like not really emotional at all and it's a it's a, a person who cuts through and just like very uh, very analytic and sometimes can be cruel because this is a queen so those cards i spoke about those cards in the lesson in lesson number one they, they are vintage they come from you know old centuries so before they had like they go to the queen for for like judgment or to rule something let's say the queen of swords is someone who will rule things and even if it's so cruel that this queen of sword is someone who is not hesitate to rule this rule okay even if it was so cruel and the queen of sword is someone like you don't want to play with basically it's someone you don't want to you don't want to blush this person doesn't bluff okay you don't want to play with this person and this person cut throat and this person takes decisions sometime and it can be very hurtful to others but they do whatever they think it's logically right and whatever their thought and whatever is like they feel like it's fair but most of the time uh, this queen of swords does not give a second chance right it's like would not give you a better like let's say if you were sentenced to do that the queen of swords not gonna be like sympathizing sympathizing with you and giving you a different like um, verdict or a different it's not gonna rule something easier because uh, she rules from her emotions or she'd be like you know maybe like a death sentence is too extreme i'm gonna give you a uh, like no this person is here queen of is can be this is a person you don't want to fuck with because they can be so cruel so cruel okay come to the king of swords so the king of swords here is like this person is not like that person this person can be very logical very analytic speaks true they can be blunt but not as blunt as the queen of swords this person is very logical things with their brain let's say this person use logic most of the time they can be not emotional at all they're very logical but they're not someone some most of the time king of swords is someone who's spoken someone who thinks someone who's smart and but it's not the person who takes like i say in this relationship not the person who do the rules or the verdict or takes the actions the queen here takes the actions but the king is not someone who takes the actions based on their thought let's say the queen of swords cuts people off the king of swords is not a person who cut people off it can be sometime but the queen and like comparing them together the king of swords so you would know the difference you'd be like why the king of swords is someone logical someone who thinks someone who use their brain someone who's not emotional would not think about emotion someone who likes to grow and they like growth you can see the butterflies here so every time as i said every time i explain this in lesson number one every time you look at card at a card whatever question that you ask you're going to see something different you're going to notice something different you might notice like every little details you're going to notice a bird you're going to notice two birds here and so on so the king of swords is like when you look at it you're going to look at someone who's logical and but someone maybe sometime would not share their logic like would not speak very bluntly like here the queen of swords they might speak logic to you but they they're not gonna say it in a very cruel way they might be cruel i'm not saying that this person is not cruel but i'm, I'm comparing it to this person so the, to the queen the king of swords at, at the end of it they're married to each other right they are similar in the similar energy but the king of sword like mostly when you get the king of sword there's not someone who's like gonna be blunt cutthroat they're gonna speak logic gonna speak truth they could be logical and but they're gonna be like i'm sorry for that i don't want to be with you or like uh i think i think you should just go or this person is logical they're not controlled by emotion and also this person could be very fair as well so because swords always comes with fairness and the justice energy also comes with fairness and someone who who like here like the swords energy you can see the swords family are always someone who like takes like when they hold the sword any king or queen holding the sword is someone who's like gives a a verdict basically gives a law gives a gives a logic gives a rule basically and gives a truth or speaks the truth so the sword also represents speaking the truth or speaking speaking your mind speaking the truth so mostly if you see the sword's energy in like in the tarot it speaks about speaking the truth it speak about like making a rule or like speaking the truth or speaking like what's fair or like always doing what's fair or someone who's like in the law but gives the final verdict or gives the final 
rule of something okay so they always speak the truth so this person is fair and speaks the truth if it's in the positive way okay if it's in the positive way this person is very logical they speak the truth and they're fair and they always prefer speaking the truth this person could be someone who's like will get irritated if you're not speaking the truth and if you're if you're not also coming so the king is like someone also i would say if it's like in a negative sense or positive sense this person would not like would not like any other energy right like if you are not really meeting their logic they would not want to talk to you and communicate like and here the queen of swords would tell you why you are like not meeting them or they don't want to talk to you not meeting them in their energy and they're going to tell you how to fix it but the king of swords is different the king of swords may be going to tell you i don't want to be with you like they get irritated and they may be not explaining to you they're, they're not someone who can explain like the masculine energy is not it's like they could be like sitting on their logic and their feelings of whatever they think about you but they would not speak and communicate it they would speak the truth of course that this person is very honest but there's not they're not going to be like caring about caring to change you like this person here it's speaking about like you need to do what's fair this person gonna be like letting the big judgment or decision for let's say the queen okay and this person here is not gonna take the final decision they, they're gonna take they're gonna be logical they're gonna cut you off but they're not gonna be like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna do something for you to change here let's say this person is like Let's say this person is very petty, okay? If it's negative, okay? And they're gonna take an action for you to change. This person gonna speak the truth and they're just gonna like, this is my logic, this is my truth, but they're not gonna fight and they're not gonna be like giving you something or they're not gonna be cruel or they're not gonna try to change you. So some of them, they could be logical. If it's like a positive or negative, you can, you can apply it on whatever question that you're asking, okay? The king of swords, as I said, someone logical, someone who thinks, someone who will use their logic. And sometimes this person is like very playful and love lovable. But most of the time, sometimes in like in readings where this person is, you might not understand this person love. Like this person loves you. This person is a loving person. The, uh, the queen of swords is also a loving person, but it's a person that you cannot fuck with. This person is like, it's, okay, it's like, let's say it's more like it's a masculine energy. Like this is the thing what people don't understand, how to explain it. And the queen of swords the queen is like a, a feminine energy supposed to be caring right uh, but let's say in a sword energy a feminine energy gives and the sword energy when it gives like a feminine energy is someone will create change someone gonna give you the rule someone gonna be like mothering you but in like whatever it, whatever is fair right the king of swords is someone who's gonna be like always like it's a masculine energy where they're not gonna communicate a lot of their feelings even if it's like swords it's not feelings it's like they're not going to communicate a lot of their logic so it might be most of the time they get misunderstood because you don't understand their logic right sometimes if it's negative okay so but this person is fair very logical and someone who seeks the truth they both want the truth okay so page of sword here the page of sword that a lot of people see the page of sword and like oh a stalker someone is talking you or a stalker in you or someone on social media watching you watching and watching in you okay, watching you okay let me drink my coffee watching you someone watching you on social media I don't feel like the page of sword here is like as I said someone reckless with communication because this is a page someone who speak the truth but not really thinking about it much sometimes it's like a fast communication someone reckless with their actions someone who's like doing things where they don't really think about it it could be sometimes it's like really not they they should think about it. it's not for the best or something like that this is a communication it's more of most of the time it's someone who's watching you and thinking a thought about you but not communicating the truth it could be someone who's trying to seek truth that's why people saying like it's like a stalker energy because someone's trying to seek truth it's like they're holding their sword and they're like a beige they're trying to get some truth they're trying to understand something they're trying to think are they thinking about you and they want more of whatever like it feeds their brain and they're like watching you watching you to think it's not someone who's like using their brain or using their eyes or watching you to to understand it's like a beige it's like absorbing something to learn okay so that's why they see see it as a stalker sometimes most of the time i don't feel like this person is like someone who sometimes speaks thoughts that it's more like um 
whatever they see so they could be a little bit blunt but they speak whatever they see and sometimes it could be manipulative the page of swords with their words or with their with the actions that they take like that's why they say it's a stalker someone who's like trying to seek truth so they could be manipulative the page i'll see it as a manipulative person sometimes because they might like do whatever to get information from you or to get some things some truth from you or something like that it's a page it's someone who's like doing whatever they can to get their knowledge let's say the king and the queen god or like they would not know so they would try to use their own way even if it's wrong or good or something like that to get the truth also fast communication some people saying like communication a page of swords is communication common or something like that okay knight of swords here we got the knight of swords as i said some people see the knight as like a fast communication is gonna come or someone gonna come fast with a truth some like a truth fast like it's just a simplest translation of like a sword and a nice coming fast is a fast truth a fast communication a fast something of like the sword energy logic or something like that the knight sometimes can be very reckless and not considerate so they might not think of the action that they're gonna take but we're not speaking about wand's action or pentacle action we're speaking about the sword action so they could be reckless with the action that they're gonna take when it comes to communication or addressing their thoughts or they could have an idea this person so if we if we have an reading and we go the knight of sword this person got an idea and they wanna they wanna do this idea really fast regardless of thinking of the idea gonna have a good outcome or not they just want to do it sometimes they, the knight is scared they want to do this action really fast because they're scared to lose you they're scared something so the knight is like taking reckless actions so they could be coming fast without really without just they just don't want to lose you without being sure of what they want or what you what you want or of the out, outcome of the action but here we got swords again you have to focus on if it's swords if it's wands if it's something swords is about logic and you can see the energies here about the sword that we explained the same thing about logic and truth about an idea or something that is like an air energy so it's kind of like an air energy here so it's going to be communication or an idea so sometimes we're going to speak about it then the night i'm not going to overwhelm you with like um, a lot of multi translation but just simple so sometimes we see the night and then let's say we're like oh we got the knight. So it could be a knight or someone who let's say if it's like a sword someone who lets their thoughts control them the nice energy it could be not about the person that is going to take action it could be this person letting their thoughts really take them everywhere they're like they kind of like whatever that comes to their brain they do it without really evaluating that if it's right or if it's not right so they could be living in their life where like whatever they feel like doing they do it without really seeing the consequences or being stable like a person who's like single let's say and it's just not really anything about logic and truth and thoughts they could be they could also like communicate whatever comes to their mind to get whatever they want so anything about swords okay and then i cleared those by numbers so we got the ace of swords so we got in every energy we got we got aces we got ace of pentacle ace of cub you know we got all of those aces in every energy and then we got here the two of sword the three of sword and we got the four of sword let me see how we're gonna do it okay we're gonna do four then three three So the aces, all oh, aces, when you see aces, any ace, it's like an ace, right? Like it's an ace, but let's say it's the energy when it's fully pure from the universe, like an ace or something big gonna happen, but it's from the universe. It's the intensity of the energy. Let's say like this is the intense pure energy before it's like before anybody takes it before the queen takes it before this person takes it before anybody takes this energy this is the energy this is the pure energy of the sword okay so the pure energy of the sword when you see it in a reading it means that truth it means literally the pure truth of it. it doesn't mean like the energy of this person holding it and how they use this weapon or this person how they use this weapon or this card speak about it and speak about 
like every time I look at a card, as I said, like every time you ask a question, you're going to see something different. But here is the pure energy of the sword from the universe. And it's like it, it's highest. So when it comes to a reading, as I said, it could be a truth going to come to you, a communication going to come to you. It's like for sure this energy going to come. So it could be sometime it's like from the universe they're telling you like there's some kind of truth that you're going to learn about some something in your life there's some kind of truth that you're going to discover about yourself there is like a communication going to come to you there's communication going to happen or you're going to have this communication that you wanted whether with this person or that is let's just say the ace is like the ace literally it's a the, it's the ace it's the ace of the energy so when you get that, it's the energy at its purest. So if you want to translate this energy just um, in a simple way, I'm trying to not just overwhelm you with a lot of things. Let's just say the energy of the sword at its pure, uh, pure nature, okay? Before it's like becomes a three of sword, two of sword, or the king or the queen hold it and whatever they do with it. This is the energy, let's say you found it, like it's like pure gold. You found it in the universe and this is how the universe going to give you this. So it's like when you see it, it's the intense energy of the truth or something like that without anybody's using it and how they're using it and how it gonna come so here's like as i said like i explained i explained the queen of swords it's like how she is and how she's doing things and how she uses the sword and here the sword from the universe without anybody putting their energy with it it's like uh, what i'm trying to say okay so when you see it, as I said, it's like, well, let's say there's a communication going to come. There's a thought or you need to use your brain. You need to be, to be embracing this energy. You need, you need to be thinking logical. You need to be logical or like use logic. It could be spirit trying to tell you, you need to hold the sword. You need to embrace that or you're lacking this energy in your life or um, the truth going to be spoken or you need to speak that truth. Like this is a, a intensify energy that comes to you from the universe like to intensify how you need this energy or how this energy gonna come or it gonna be a new beginning but this new beginning gonna come from the it's like ace sometimes it's like a new beginning right because it's the first here we got the first like one here and then we got two so it's a new beginning but this new beginning it could be like you're speaking about a new beginning gonna come after a sword or gonna come in a in a, um in a sword energy so this new beginning can be a truth that you're gonna learn and then you're gonna get that. It could be also a letter, so it's an A, so anything with words, anything like you're gonna get a new beginning or you're gonna get a letter, an official letter or official communication or something like that, okay? So there's like this intense energy of like getting a sword from the universe. It could be like you're gonna get someone or you're gonna get someone who, maybe someone gonna call you and this call is like a new beginning of something, right? Or it's gonna be a new beginning of something as a first. Two sword, every time my hair is falling. Two swords, every time people look at the two swords, it's like someone was like not taking a decision, indecisive because this person is like closing their eyes and they don't know what they're doing. They're holding two choices. So swords also can speak of a choice, right? Uh, anything with ideas is the same thing about choices. Like a choice, when you think about a choice, it's like you think about it. So I don't want to overwhelm you with a lot of details, but Think about anything that is like air energy, like you think about it, thoughts, okay? So this also could be a choice that you're gonna get, the Ace of Swords, like you're gonna get a truth, a letter, as I said, that gonna take you to a new beginning or like a decision or a choice or an opportunity, but in words, an opportunity that you wanna think about or anything like with, with logic. I don't wanna like overwhelm you, okay, with a lot of meaning, but the Ace of Swords is like that. So the two of swords back to the two of swords two of swords, two of swords is like having two choices or you want to choose you have like two truths or you're thinking about two things or like your mind is taking you two different ways and the two of swords is always someone who's stuck but actually they need to make a decision but they're not making a de decision also sometimes because this you, so this is what i'm saying like every time i ask a question it's important to look at the card and see something because every time you're gonna look at the card you're gonna see something different so we got the moon do you remember the meaning of the moon like when we done the lesson number one so the moon is always like uh, something hidden a secret or something like that so this person is 
could be also waiting for waiting for some kind of truth that gonna come from the universe that gonna make them choose so it's like they don't want to choose they don't know how to choose they're waiting for anybody to to make them choose like it's, it can be sometimes annoying because this person does not make a decision this person really putting themselves here and they're not making a decision when they can just open their eyes and then they, they might see the truth they might know what they gonna choose so it could be someone who put in themselves there by force if it's negative they put in themselves there or like by choice uh, it could be by force the universe is putting you there to make a decision also it can be that you're making yourself in this position or they're making themselves in this position where they they don't want to choose they like it there it could be like sometime like that or sometimes just like they don't want to choose they they like their cake you know and they're eating their cake and whatever whatever you want to say like that like they they have a choice and then they have another choice and they they're comfortable with having two choices okay so for others it can be like it's just what i'm saying like every time i look at the card you it's very important to see what energy you see when you ask the question so it could be uh, this person is waiting for the truth it could be this person is scared to take a decision and then we got water it's important to see the elements in every card we got water here water represents emotion and then we got here a ground it represents a pentacle we still didn't go there so it represents earth energy so it could be like this person wants to take a decision and then you can see this person is sitting on a stable ground and maybe they're scared that this decision that they're gonna take is gonna lead them to lose whatever stable or they're gonna drown in their feelings or emotion they're just trying to be stable like you can see the water here the earth they're trying to be stable so they are trying to they scared that if they're gonna take a decision it's gonna be a wrong decision decision so it could be like anything like that but in the sword okay so number three here, three of swords all speaking about heartbreak, third party, and you can hear like how annoying it is like every time like you go to a tarot reading, they'll be like, three of swords, third parties, and this is the thing about the cards, this is what I'm saying, it's really important for you when you look at the card and you ask the question, see what you see first, do not like speak a lot of meanings of the card, like uh, put the cards, and this is what mistakes that some beginners like when they read tarot they do this mistake it's annoying and it's confusing because you literally but you spoke all the meanings of one card in a reading and all the meanings and all the meanings and you conf you confuse yourself because a card can be positive can be negative can speak about a lot of things it's not about like what's wh what words are on the card it's about the energy you need to learn when you listen from your intuition or you are psychic you're not reading words you're not reading a book you're reading from energy you're taking this energy it's an energy we're speaking about this energy and cards as i said Cards have been made for you to listen and to understand how to be a psychic and how to be intuitive. Yeah, there's people who can do it without cards and they understand that. It's like, this is a baby step to guide you. So the cards that have been there for you to not get confused and to guide you to listen to your intuition. So if you're going to look at a card and you're going to translate billion shit in the card, because this card speak about that, then what's, what's the point, right? So I want you, when you look at the card, you see the first feeling that you get from it. What meaning gonna, like the key meaning of this card and what gonna take you to. Is it a third party? Is it a heartbreak? Is it that? So I want you to see what the card tells you without overwhelming yourself with all those meaning. It could be that, it could be that. Just focus on one meaning that you felt, trust your intuition, and that's it. This is the interpretation of this card. Interpretation, interpretation, interpretation of this card, okay? So we got the three uh, three of swords speaks about heartbreak, which really you can see like the heart being like stabbed by sword. But we got sword energies here, right? Can speak also about a truth that you have to tell yourself. So it's not about like three parties, oh, cheating. Uh, it can be, but sometimes it just speaks about heartbreak or truth that might hurt you or a truth that you have to tell yourself. Like if, it's, if it comes to yourself, that it's gonna break your heart. Can speaks about like, Someone trying to break your heart, right? Or it speaks about heartbreak in general, the Three of Swords. So you cannot make it positive. But there's also positive side of the Three of Swords. And the positive side is like, okay, if you're going to communicate this truth or you're going to speak this truth, you're going to relieve yourself from this heartbreak. You're going to relieve yourself from this entang entanglement. So this entang entanglement of the truth, it can make you stuck in this feeling or this relationship. It could be entanglement of some kind of truth or lies. Number, so you can see three like there's different truth that is like 
different route that taking you to all kind of feelings like you don't know what truth to believe and uh, it could be like a spirit trying to tell you you need to focus on one truth and you need to pull the other sword and just one truth because it could be like it could it could be like emotional manipulation by yourself or by someone else or it could be like you have different truth that taking you from taking you to different different situations that spirit wants you to focus on one truth and see what truth is important and what truth is real right so we got here the four of swords the four of swords is also someone resting with their thought they're resting they're relaxing they're chilling they are like they don't want to have a war they're kind of putting their sword there hanged they they're chilling they don't have a war they don't have anything to go to right they don't have a fight they don't have anything they're just chilling there they don't they don't they don't want to fight okay and it's important that they sound my hair is falling <laughs> let me drink my mouth is dry With swords energy, why is swords representing a lot of fight? Because swords are like in fights, right? And why did they use swords? Because it's like thoughts are like fighting, right? Because you have your intuition and you have yourself and it's like you fight things with the truth. And always the truth sends you free. And the truth always like and any words, it's like you can fight with your words, you can fight with your thought, you can fight with your brain, you can fight with your knowledge, you can fight with a lot of truth. And when we read energy, that truth or a spoken words got a lot of a lot of like um, effect, right? So your this person is not fighting or like even like your thoughts or what you tell yourself is important. That's why we have the sword. What you tell yourself is important. What thought you tell yourself, what decision you make is like always about swords. It's like or the truth or when you cut something is a sword. When you cut something, you're like I made a decision. I don't want that. Or you made a decision. Like you made a rule in your life. This is like why we use the sword. So here this person is not doing all of that. This person is chilling. It could be this person is resting. For some of you, be that some in some readings it could be like um this person is like thinking about what happened it could be like this person's thinking about because they put in the sword can be sword the it can be like that and that this person is thinking about what happened this person's retreating it's kind of like the hermit card but this is in a sword way where they they're retreating thinking about what happened or what you said it could be they're thinking about communication they're sitting on it they're sitting on their thought it's like when you're laying down on bed and you're thinking about everything that happened or you're thinking about your thought you're thinking about your dreams that they're resting they're, they're thinking about what happened so they are retreating but with their thought okay so we said we're gonna do three oh we're gonna do three we got six five and we got <sighs> those are the sneaky cards i call them <laughs> So we got the five, we got the six, and we got the seven of sword. I want to put like, that's what I'm thinking about, like putting this one here too, so it would not be confusing. Because we got, like they are kind of in some energy, and here we, we got like, I don't know. I think it's better to do them this way. Five, six, seven, and eight of sword, okay? And uh, do not worry, you're going to memorize everything later on. So this card here, the Five of Swords, is always speaking about like someone who's like stealing something from you. Someone who just tapped you and took away the truth. Someone who like, someone who's like, you know, like when you say what, let's kind of, let's, to make it simple, when you look at this card, you know how when you like protect yourself and then this person protect themselves and took the swords like to protect themselves they took the swords from those people whether they're gonna do something or not they took it before like they had the idea and they took it before those people hurt them okay so you know how like when you're angry and you know those people have been talking to you and then you just snap and then you'll be like fuck that like i'm gonna cut them off before they do something i'm gonna cut them before they cut me or i'm gonna take their sword away so they cannot fight even they got this person got this person got their sword and they got their sword and they got his sword and they got one two three like they're holding a lot of swords right 
so it's like that and also this card can represent a someone who's like hiding the truth someone's sneaky someone who's like sneaky they're holding a lot of sword they sneaky they're taking something away from you they're taking the truth away from you swords represent it's like the, the more you understand the sword meaning and then you're gonna see the truth and you can see the energy where it takes you right so again every time you ask the question look at the card and see what you see every time you're gonna look at the card you're gonna see something different but this is a stealing lying uh, hiding the truth taking the truth away from you or it could be someone who uh, is protecting themselves they think that you're lying you're stealing or you're hiding something from them someone who can be someone who's gossipy someone who gossip about you someone who's like um as I said, hiding the truth, someone who's like, it could be like someone who's like really manipulative with their thoughts, okay? Like with, like they, they not telling you what exactly they're thinking about you. They kind of like hiding their thought, hiding the truth or hiding something, okay? So that's what we see in here. Also kind of speaks about like, um, I need to explain it in a better way for you. Kind of speaks because again you have to look at the picture and look at everything right kind of speak about someone who would say whatever to be to feel stable or to not lose you also and again it's the same energy of like holding the truth or trying to be defensive or protecting themselves if it's positive it could be like this person trying to protect themselves from you because you are in this energy right it could be like reverse or like that or they're protecting themselves or they they are taking away their thoughts and energy away from you because they feel like you're sneaky or they feel like you're gonna hurt them they could be also someone who's defensive right defensive they don't trust anybody this person does not trust people and it could be like that this person does not trust people they they take in everything because they they don't trust you they don't want to share anything with you they don't trust you whether like you're trustworthy or not then we go here the six of sword is always moving away you can see this person is moving away taking their sword whether it's like there was like a, a uh, war ended or they're moving away they don't want to fight they're taking whatever they had whatever left because they're taking only six six of swords so maybe they lost a lot of swords because we got in the tower we got always 10 is a completion so maybe they lost a lot of sword and they're moving away with their family they're moving away and this person is taking action because we got the wand when we get to the wands energy you're gonna understand the wants is action wants is fire sign taking action of moving away taking their thought this person could be like just had enough with something so always having enough with their thought or moving away or making a decision to take away their energy take away they made a decision to they made a decision that's why they're taking action they put their thought there so the decision is already fixed so they put it on the water they they very like water represent feelings again we're gonna come to that energy of water they put their thoughts there and they're very comfortable so they they just made the decision and their feelings and everything is on it that they just want to go away or they want to they, this is the decision they made so it could be like someone who made a decision or move someone is taken away or this person is like just rusting or had enough or they don't want to think about it anymore or they just they made a decision or they are like uh they're trying to ignore their thoughts and they just walking away from their thought or something like that okay so and then we got here the seven of swords the seven of swords is kind of like a little bit similar but it's different because this person is stealing right you can see the village there and this person is tall all the sword and just run away like a thief this person it could be a liar vindictive person most of the time someone who lies someone who hides the truth and someone who just steals things manipulative or just like telling lies all the time like this person is comfortable with telling lies this person is comfortable with taking the truth away this person is comfortable with saying bullshit it could be like someone who's saying a lot of bullshit it could be someone who's like also comfortable with talking you as i said I spoke about like someone who takes the knowledge away or something like that this person maybe got so toxic so comfortable in their old ways it could be someone who's comfortable in their old ways they made a decision they made the same decision several times so they're very comfortable with the same decision that they're taking they're very comfortable where they are they they're just doing it like they're comfortable they got used to it they're holding more than one sword the more than one choice it could be like that and this person just comfortable with this lies and what they are having they left however two swords so they could be like it's still like they don't want to blow up the their cover that they're lying or something like that it's like they're having the truth but they're telling you a few truths so you, every time you look at a card you're gonna look at something different right they haven't too truthy then maybe they're telling you so they keep you trusting them or something like that 
So a lot of the time the score is like a little bit negative. So it could be someone hiding the truth, someone is like walking away. Also it can be also the same meaning like that someone is walking away, someone is like taking the energy, they feel like you're not trustworthy and they just like snuck away to leave you or they feel like it's kind of like not in this energy where this person could be like tired when they move away but this person is like they made a decision to fuck you over or to take their energy away or like to leave you and it could be a sudden thing because this is a thief who comes and just you'll be shocked because because she shocked of the decision or they left or something like that, right? So I'm not gonna overwhelm you. And then we got the age of swords, someone is stuck here. Like this is the, you know, how every time you're gonna hear the same thing, it's like the person is stuck, not making a decision, restricting themselves. It could be a lot of the time this card speaking about insecurities, mental stress, uh, being insecure. It could be speaking about a lot of insecurities with this you you going through because this person literally got nobody here like they're just they can untie themselves and they just can't take the swords they feel like th there's someone there tying them down but nobody is there tying them down they can literally just open basically you're restricting yourself or this person restricting themselves with their own mental belief or they stuck in the same old belief or they stuck in something right but it's all about decisions and they stuck in choices they stuck in mental thought mental illness you can't speak about mental illness but it's more like he's stuck and this person literally can just open themselves and go but they kind of like kind of speaking about a victim mentality as well sometime for me because this person is very insecure projecting things can be about a person who projecting a lot of their insecurities on people because they feel like they cannot leave this insecurities they feel like they need to basically when someone is projecting their insecurities because they want you to free them when they can free themselves first and love themselves right so yeah Wait, that was. Uh, I don't wanna. Yeah, here. And then we got the last two of the swords, which is nine and ten. Ooh. So then we reach to the nine, and then we reach to the ten, right? The nine is mental stress. Someone was like, you cannot sleep at night, just stress and thinking a lot. But this person is, it could be like someone just having a mental stress. It's not like they're restricting themselves. Like when we saw the Eight of Swords, this person is like, can be also like just someone, it's, I, to me, this feels like this person just saw a lot in their life, like a trauma, right? Because this is a warrior that have the swords here, like almost won the bo battle, but there's one sword not there, won the battle, but having the stress after war, right? After making the decision, after taking the decision of cutting some people off, after that, it's a mental stress, sadness, but it comes from a stress, mental stress and depression, severe depression, severe stress or anxiety, or cannot sleep or distress like that, or you cannot sleep. Also, could speak about if it's like in a love region or something, this person overly thinking about you or obsessively thinking about you or obsessively just feeling the connection, telepathical thought with this person with you, or they cannot just stop thinking about you. Could be like they cannot stop thinking about you or something like that, okay? We got the Ten of Swords here. The Ten of Swords is always defeat, defeat and ending. And ending is like when you kill someone with the truth, basically, right? Kill someone with the truth, a breakup, an ending that happened that literally fucked this person up fuck this person up and we got a sword like when you fuck this person up they just not only mentally fuck this person it could be mentally fucked and the truth came and they cannot just run away from the truth though as i spoke about sword sword energy our truth a decision a verdict a rule they got ruled by the universe or by something that they cannot escape this rule they cannot escape this uh, thing that happened they cannot escape the truth uh, they just an ending could be sometime a breakup an ending of something it's just uh, an end you, you cannot escape the sword the sword is a truth a decision a change is from the universe a decision from the universe or something like that or a truth or something like that that came it's like our rule that came that just ended this it just ended that truth that ended or as i said a decision or something that happened this person could be also very fucked like when you say like a humbled also right thank you for watching and have a lovely day